Hello, I'm Evan with New Life for Old Bikes. In today's episode, we're going to service the freewheel or gear set on the back of my bicycle. This particular bike has a set of caliper brakes on it, and we're just simply going to remove one of the brake pads so that we can pull the wheel out. Next, make sure that you're shifted into the lowest gear on the back. Pull the derailleur back and drop the wheel out. Before I remove the free wheel, which is the gear set off the back of this bike, I'm going to loosen up this lock ring. You'll notice there's two little holes in there. You're supposed to use a spanner wrench, however, I've never been able to generate enough force with a spanner wrench to remove it. So I'm going to actually use a punch and a hammer. I want you to notice when I turn the gears, the center remains stationary. This is a free wheel. If the center turned with the gears, you'd be working with a cassette. This particular lock ring removes by turning clockwise. Just loosen it a couple of turns. Next we're going to remove the freewheel. There's a special tool for this and depending on which brand you have this could be different. This is designed for a Shimano. It fits right in there and uses a one inch wrench to loosen it. However, generating enough force to be able to loosen that is very difficult. So I'm actually sliding another wrench in to give myself a little more leverage. There we go. Now we can rebuild the freewheel. Hold the freewheel from the back while you loosen the ring. At this point, remove the bearings with a magnet. Also, if you'll notice, there's some spacers. Make sure you save those. The next thing we're going to do is soak everything in a cleaner. My cleaner of choice is mineral spirits. Once I've soaked everything, I'm going to make sure that all the bearings look good. Bearings are not very expensive. I'd rather replace them now than after a part fails.
the free wheel body has two paws that need to be removed at this point. To remove them, there's a metal snap ring that holds them in place. Lift the snap ring and slide it off. There we go. Make sure you clean real well in here. This is the pivot point for that pawl. Once everything is thoroughly cleaned, as you can see, the pawls only fit in one direction. What I'm going to do at this point is take a little bit of grease. I'm using a waterproof grease for this. And just putting a little bit on the hinge point. Then we're going to reassemble this unit. There we go. Next, we're going to wipe a thin film of grease on the race at the bottom. The bottom race on this unit gets 41 bearings. The top race gets 31. If you're unsure about this, count them as you disassemble it. The easiest way I've found to reassemble these is with a pair of tweezers. Before assembling the free wheel, make sure you put a little bit of grease where the pawls connect inside the gear set. Also, Make sure you put a little bit of grease inside the race on the top. Next, make sure you put your spacers back in place. Then, reassemble. Be careful, you don't want to lose any of the bearings. At this point, drop your bearings in the top race. <clears throat> Once we have all 31 of our bearings in place, we're going to install our lock ring. If you'll remember, this turned clockwise to loosen, so we've got to turn it counterclockwise or left to tighten it. There we go. Once we've installed it on the wheel, we'll tighten it completely. Before reassembling, put a little bit of grease on the hub. That way it'll come apart real easy next time. Next, screw the free wheel back on. And tighten it up with your free wheel tool. Since this is turning clockwise, 
as you drive the hub will automatically tighten what won't tighten is this lock ring right here so we're going to go ahead and give it a little little tightening we're ready to go Now that our free wheel has been serviced, we're going to reinstall the back wheel. Lastly, we're going to put the brake pad back on. Use your brake handle to clamp down on the back brake and snug it up. Once it's snugged up, you can tighten it the rest of the way. Thank you for watching. I hope you found my video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget, like and subscribe.